Access 3.5, we reintroduced support for YUM proxy repositories. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure and use one. So, uh, I've, logged, I've connected to Nexus, uh, and I'm going to sign in to give myself administrator privileges. Head over to the settings screen, and I want to create a repository. I've already created uh, a few YUM repositories, but I'm going to go ahead and create the base one now. So if I click create repository, and let's choose YUM proxy down at the bottom. So I'm going to call this repository YUM base. So make sure you set the name and set the remote URL. And that's all there is to configure in a YUM proxy repository. Press create. And there we go, we can see that in the list. So the, the next thing to do is to configure the client, which I've gone ahead and done. So I'll just show you that. So if we change directory to etc um, .repos uh this folder contains all of your uh, yum repo configuration. Uh, at the moment, I've only got one file, which is nexus.repo. And in that file, as you can see, I've configured four repositories, uh, each of them pointing at a Nexus instance. Uh, and this one at the top is the, the base one that we've just created. So that's all there is to setting up uh, YUM to talk to a YUM Nexus repo. Um, so let's go ahead and use YUM. Install and I'm going to install the next. As you can see, that's successfully installed. And I should be able to use it. There we go. Um, and then on the Nexus side, you should be able to see the packages and metadata that's been downloaded. Go to the repo browse, let's browse the assets, and let's choose Yum Base. Okay, and you can see the metadata that uh, Nexus has fetched and also each of the packages. And that's all there is to using YUM in Nexus.